Hi everyone, today we are going to learn about binary search algorithm. So this sorted array is given. Size of this sorted array is 15. So elements in this array are 14, 21, 27 till 94. Suppose we want to search for 967. 67 exists in this array or not. So if we apply linear search, then we will start from 0th index. Then we will compare first 14, then 21, then 26 till we reach 67. When we come to this index, then we are able to make a statement like uh, 67 exists in this array. Okay. So since this given array is shorted, so we can apply binary search. So in linear search, uh, in worst case, we have to reverse throw all elements in, in this array. So time complexity will be order of n. So uh, since given array is sorted, we can apply binary search. Suppose we want to identify 21 number exists in this array or not. So now uh, now we, we will see how binary search works. So uh, in, in this sorted array, 15 elements exist. So 14 is the lowest number, this is low and 94 is the highest number, it, it is high and 47 is mid number, okay. And before 47, 7 elements are present. After 47, 7 elements are present, okay. So we want to search 21 exists in this array or not. So we will compare 21 with mid number. So 21 is lesser than mid number. So obviously uh, 20 will, 21 will exist in first part, 14 to 43. Because uh, after 47, all values are greater than 47, 62 to 94. So we can uh, we can eliminate or we can ignore this second part. So we will focus on first part, 14 to 43. Okay. So uh, we can consider this first part as a new array. So 14 will be first element and 43 will be highest element, and mid will be 28. Okay. So now again we will compare our given value 21 with mid, mid number. So 21 is lesser than 28. So again we can uh, ignore this second part 36 to 43. Now we will focus on first part. In first part 14 will be lowest element and 27 will be highest element and 21 will be mid. So now we will compare given value 21 with mid element. So both are equal. So here we can say uh, 21 exist in this given array so so this is binary search approach so we have searched 21 in three steps only so first uh, we were comparing with 47 so this was first step then we were comparing given value 21 with 28 this is second step now we have found 21 in third step okay so in three iteration only or uh, we are able to find out given number in the binary search in case of linear search, uh, we have to traverse through the whole elements in the array. That's why uh, time complexity for binary search algorithm is order of log n. Okay, cool.